So it's nearing the end of winter, supposedly. Um, my entire backyard looks like a giant sheet of ice. My car is stuck in my driveway because I didn't dig it out when it first snowed because I was like, ah, I don't have to go anywhere today. I'll just wait for it to melt. That was about a week ago. But I guess that's news. I have a house. We bought a house in November and if you only follow me on YouTube, and that would be news to you. We're still getting unpacked and um, going through boxes and trying to get rid of stuff here and there, like shoes that I haven't worn since 2006 and a collection of ugly sweaters. Um, I have this collection of these really thick sweaters that I won't even wear on the coldest days because they don't make me happy. One of these sweaters looks a little too grandma, but I really wanted to keep it. So I have decided to do a tutorial to show you how I was going to um, make it more lovable. What you'll need is fabric paint and a brush, some spray adhesive, an X-Acto knife and a board to cut on, and a shirt or sweater that you want to love but you don't, a printer, and an important message you need to express on a shirt or you'll just die inside. Start by cutting out your letters with the X-Acto blade. Be very careful and keep in mind that if you're going to overcut, do it in the letters and not on the stencil. I chose not to use the inside of my letters in my stencil, but feel free to make your sweater as ugly as you want. Take it outside and give your stencil a good spray and after 10 or 15 seconds, it'll be tacky enough for you to press down completely. Just make sure that you're getting all of the edges pressed down. Use a very small brush and a padding motion and keep in mind that paint may bleed through the stencil, so you want to use it more as a template than a stencil and try to sand them between the lines. After you've gotten it mostly filled in, then you want to peel up the paper, revealing your design, and make any touch-ups that are necessary. And the last step is to um, sa save the moon. We can't do without you. I don't know, probably. Whatever.